mainland for days was able to listen in on our conversations. Quote, we know the People's Republic of China used these balloons for surveillance. High resolution imagery from U-2 flybys revealed that the high altitude balloon was capable of conducting signals, intelligence collection operations. But President Biden completely downplaying the significance of that spy flight. It's not a major breach. I mean, look, it's totally, uh, it's a violation of international law. It's our airspace. And once it comes in our airspace, we can do what we want with it. Florida Congressman Greg Stubbe joins us now. First off, Congressman, we're so glad that you're on demand and you're feeling better. And thank you for being with us. Thank you. Uh, but, you know, you yeah. heard Biden say there, no, there's nothing to worry about. This wasn't that big of a breach. But now we're finding out that this spy craft was collecting data, sending it right to China. Of it was. Uh, so how can he sit up there and just dismiss this as no big deal? Well, and then during the State of the Union address, he tries to act like it's some big deal that they shot it down after it traversed the entire continental United States, collecting the signal information. And think about how deliberating this is, is you have them collecting information and radio information of over military bases, and they're trying to get nuclear information to try to jam signals, uh, to try to have... Uh, knowing our, our codes and our radio frequencies for things that we do. This is a significant breach of national security. And this administration sat back and let the Chinese Communist Party surveil our military bases for the entire continental United States. And then once they had gotten all that information, then shot it down. 